Pickle apologizing to Kendrick Lamar. Uh, I have not seen the full video of this joint. I'm about to react to it right now. And uh, I don't, I don't care. If he don't want to beef, he don't want to beef. All right. Stop complaining because you niggas is bored. So I'm so proud of that project. Except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because... Y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you going to do, Cole? <laughs> <laughs> my niggas like, bitch boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my fucking God. Also, too, also, too, can you remember this nigga is damn near 40? This nigga is 40 years old. What do you like beefing? What does he look like beefing? My nigga is 40. Come on, bruh. This nigga LeBron age. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime. Mm -hmm, right? Niggas want to see blood. And, and I was conflicted because, one, I know my heart. You know what I mean? And, like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I've just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. Mm -hmm. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? If the show is. And I don't give a fuck. If, if this nigga feel at peace, they feel at peace with it, that's cool. But see, you niggas are thinking so surface thinking. You all some surface thinking ass niggas. That's, that's the problem. Because it don't matter what nobody say. At the end of the day, your peace is what matters. I don't care what anyone, I don't care what any one of you niggas care if I want to see beef or he got to strike back or he weak or he soft at the end of the day bro I'd rather be at peace and have everybody think I'm soft than me being a lunatic and and niggas thinking oh yeah this this nigga about that shit you know what I'm saying y'all gonna get y'all are the same people who saying it's just a friendly back and forth beef y'all are the same niggas that's gonna gash that shit to the point where niggas is actually going at it that's the problem, bro. He even said, like, the world was like, wait, for what you gonna reply back? Y'all niggas are instigators, whether y'all realize it or not. Y'all think this shit's surface level, but at the end of the day, bro, it's not, bro. In general, like, we just putting a bad connotation on rapping hip hop completely, bro. Like, okay, since you saying it, hip hop is cool to say, but if you say that to a nigga normally, then it's offensive. That don't make sense. That's such a weird ass gray area. I'm telling you, it's such a weird ass gray area. the lamest like goofiest shit and it make I say all that to say it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly and I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path you know what I, I mean? did I that my nigga really didn't feel no way and if he did my nigga I got my chin out take your best shot I'm gonna take that shit on the chin boy do what you do you know what I mean like all good like it's it's love and I pray that you know I pray that y'all are like forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path because I ain't gonna lie to y'all the past two days felt terrible like it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years so all of that to say man I want to I want to now perform the song that's a reminder to me 
of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love, Love Your Eyes. I knew it. <laughs> All right, let's get it, man. Excuse me. All right. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Actually, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all do that. I'm about to read these comments. They're probably going to be toxic. He does film. I know about the facts. Oh, no. These. All right, bad dude. These ain't toxic. See? Exactly, bro. Facts, bro. This is maturity. Like, niggas always want you to be the bigger man and shit, bro. But, like, for some reason, nigga, other niggas get hold to different standards and shit. I don't understand that. It's so weird, bro. Like, we want two of the biggest black entertainers going at each other. Like, that's... I don't think y'all realize how fucking weird that shit is. I really don't think you niggas realize how weird that shit is. Like, that shit is so corny, bro. I'd rather niggas just do a versus. <laughs> I don't know, bro, but like, doing all this other shit and all this, bro, who gives a fuck? Like, and then day his piece was disrupted. Why are y'all calling this man a punk for him wanting to have peace in his life? That is crazy to me. And the nigga, like I said, the nigga is 40. He's pushing 40. Why do y'all think that this nigga gonna entertain a beef? All these niggas is too old for that shit. Be honest with you. I'm gonna leave it right there, man. Like, comment, subscribe, bro.